Under the event section, I'm defining an event called schedule event, which is of the type schedule version two. Consider this. You have an AWS Lambda function and you want to trigger it on a schedule using Amazon Event Bridge. Can you do this in a few steps using AWS SAM and Cloud9 IDE? Let's find out. Let's start by navigating to the Cloud9 service, then click on Create Environment and give it a name. Let's leave all the other settings to their default values. Hit Create, then click on Open Cloud9 IDE. Right-click on the parent folder and create a new folder called SAM. And inside SAM, I'm going to create one more folder called My Lambda. Next, I'm going to drag and drop my lambda underscore function dot py file, which prints the event and returns a success string on line three. Let's save this file under the My Lambda folder. Next. Let's drag and drop our template.yaml file, which has a resource defined called mysamlambda, which is of the type AWS serverless function. Under the properties section, I'm defining the handler, runtime, code URI, and a memory size of 128 MB. Under the event section, I'm defining an event called schedule event, which is of the type schedule version two. This event has a schedule expression of rate one minute, which means that our Lambda function will get triggered every minute. Note, if you wanted to look at all the other properties available for schedule version two, check out this AWS guide. Let's save our template.yaml file inside the SAM folder, then navigate to the bash terminal. Here, I'm going to type the cd or change directory command to go inside my SAM folder, then run the ls or list command to confirm that I see my mylambda folder and the template.yaml file. Let's validate our template.yaml file by running the SAM validate command. Looks like our template file is valid. If there were any errors, this is where it would show up. Next, Let's package our SAM application by running the SAM package command with the hyphen hyphen output dash template dash file option. I'm also going to specify an S3 bucket where an archive version of my Lambda function can get uploaded. Looks like our SAM package command was successful. You can verify this by going to the output template file and confirming that the code URI is now pointing to the S3 bucket. Next, let's copy paste our SAM deploy command and give our stack a name. I'm also going to specify the capabilities option with the value of capability underscore IAM. This will give CloudFormation permission to create a basic execution role for our Lambda function. Give it a few minutes for the deployment process to complete you can also monitor the progress by going to the CloudFormation service. Looks like our stack was successfully created. Let's confirm this by heading to the Amazon EventBridge service, then click on Schedules in the left menu. Go inside the schedule that we just created, then confirm that the rate expression looks as expected. Navigate to the Target tab, click on your Lambda function, then confirm that your Lambda code looks as expected. Next, let's head to the Monitor tab, then click on View CloudWatch Logs and go inside your latest log stream. Here, confirm that you see your event printed in the logs every minute. Finally, if you wanted to delete your stack in all its resources, head back to the CloudFormation tab and hit the delete button. There you have it. But before you go, here's a question for you. Why did the developer bring a life jacket to the Amazon EventBridge meetup?